Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Genetics, and we're back here in Minecraft, and I've got a pretty cool thing here. It's act it looks, it would look kind of complicated, but it's really not. It's just the roofing that's kind of hard, honestly. But so this is basically like a simple little uh, like mountain cabin that I kind of conjured in my mind. Um, I stayed at a cabin uh, in Tennessee in Gatlingburg when I was like uh, four, 13, 14 like that for spring break, something like that, and this kind of the one that I stayed in looked a lot different, but this is kind of like inspired by that. I remember what it looked like and I kind of, you know, built off of that. But anyways, so quick little spin around to the outside, you know, it's got some nice roofing. Uh, it's got a chimney, you know, some uh, bushes underneath the uh, kind of floorboards there. It gives it like a depth effect. It's got little supports around the windows and stuff, but um, you know, let's go ahead and go inside. So you come inside. And it's really cozy. It's uh, pretty simple, you know. Um, I'm kind of going for like a simple thing. So like most of the stuff is all the same material. But you got a plant here. But I did something a little tricky. Like a little smart. You know, we have a brewing stand. But the cauldron's right there. So it kind of, you know, it saves a lot of space. But anyway, so you come in. There's a little plant thing right there. Two furnaces, brewing stand. You got a little painting. You got a decent amount of storage. You got a bed, crafting table. Basically the necessities to live. And, um, uh, sorry, so uh, yeah, that's basically it for the inside. I mean, you can switch it up however you want to. It's completely versatile. Um, I'd probably like fit in an armor stand somewhere, but yeah, that's the inside. So now that uh, we've got the outside and the inside shown, I'll go ahead and we can get right into the build. All right, guys, I'm back. And so, as you can see, I've moved a little bit over here and found a little flat spot. Just kidding, I kind of cleared this out because I'm too lazy to go really far. So I just cleared this out, but yeah, you'll need a spot about this big. This is probably gonna go, no, this will fit very, it'll be a really tight fit, but ha, ha, ha. Okay, well anyways, I've got the stuff that you need right here. You need some oak wood uh, logs, oak wood planks, oak stairs, some oak fence, cobblestone wall, some spruce leaves or any kind of leaves, doesn't really matter, it's, it's your choice. Uh, bricks and then brick stairs, but yeah, so first step is to build the uh, uh, yeah that little uh, staircase up to the door so you'll need some oak stairs so you put two and then put two upside down and then go ahead and put two just like this take some oak planks and put them just like that two of them get your oak wood logs and go one two three four and five and then go on the other side two and then once you do that take them across and then we'll put in the doors later but yeah, so once you have that, you can go ahead and actually start uh, putting the other supports out so that way you can, you know, build the frame and then move on from there. So I'll be right back when I have the next step finished. All right, guys, I'm back and I've finished the step. So as you can see, there's some red and white stuff. Don't worry, that's just that's just guidelines. So it's easier for you guys to tell. But um, so I put the frame around. And so this is one, two, three, four, five. So you'll have, you know, that one pillar that we made five upside down stairs, one block from the ground, and then have another pillar. And obviously, you know, I put it down one into the ground just to make it have an aesthetic effect. But if it was a flat surface, it would be one, two, three, four, and five, the same height as this pillar, well, both of these pillars. So yeah, so then you have the pillar, one, two, three, four, five upside down stairs, a five block high pillar, and then nine upside down stairs, also one block above the ground. And then, you know, like I said, this is, I should have made it go down all the way, but that would have been overkill. Um, there's a five block high oak wood pillar right here. So nine upside down stairs, one block above the ground, and then a five high pillar. And then there's four upside down stairs, also one block high. Well, it's one block high all the, all the way around. You guys know that. I'm just, you know, being overkill with this. But um, so four upside down stairs, also a five high pillar. And then six upside down stairs and then that will lead to right here it'll lead to this pillar but it's one block behind don't worry whenever we fill in the floor this will make it all connect and it will look nice but here I'll go ahead and give an overhead view of um, the inside just like this so you guys can pause it right here and just take a look at that so you can get the frame down but um so after you do that the next step would be to fill in the walls and go ahead and put in like the window holes and put glass panes in so I'll be right back when I have that finished all right guys so I'm back and I have filled in the walls and put the windows in all right so look 
the previous step we built the pillars right and they were uh, three high like from the floor here which I did fill in which is super easy the big hole that was here just fill the whole thing in with wood planks and that's literally it just fill the whole thing with wood planks on the same level as the stairs just fill it in with wood planks and that's it so then on the inside the walls between every single pillar there's gonna be oak planks three high all the way around so as you can see from the stair right here it's one two three well sorry one two three just like that and that's all the way around just like that all right so now for the windows whenever you come inside there's the doorway right here so one two blocks away from the pillar of the doorway there's a one two block gap which you can put either glass blocks or glass panes in just like that and then over here there's a you know two by two window which is from the outside from this pillar it's one two three blocks away and then from this pillar it's obviously one block away and it looks just like that so those are the only windows there's that one right there which you know two blocks away from that pillar and one block away from this one it's right there and this one is two by two now the next step excuse me uh, the next step is to do the roofing now I'm actually gonna walk you through this one I'm not gonna do any cuts because the roofing is a tiny bit confusing um, you know um, I'm used to it because I everything I do I have usually complex roofing all right just invite yourself in but um so here we go so we're gonna start with this side the roofing we're gonna do one just like that of a stair and then we're gonna go like this so it'll be something like that and then we'll go upside down and then take it up just like this and you already know what it's what, what I'm doing you know that's that's half the roof right there and then we'll do the same thing in reverse basically just do this and then just bring it down to right there so now that we have that okay my mistake guys we're actually not gonna do right there it's one block down from the top because eventually you actually delete those because there will be stairs right there it's like a, it's like a corner kind of thing but yeah so we just have that there for now because it was it's easier to just build a thing like that and have two in the middle that is okay there we go all right so it's the same thing you know it's one right there one block down from the top and then you put one just like that then you do the upside down stair and just take it up just like that and that's half of it and then you just do the same thing except in reverse just like this and all right I'm terrible at flying I guess and then once you get to here you're gonna wrap this around just like that and then we'll make the arch right there for this window but we're gonna go ahead and finish this like the big a frame on this side okay so we'll take it up just like this and then put the upside down ones and then we'll do that until you reach right here which is obviously the middle you know using the uh, windows as like a reference point so then you'll do the same thing in reverse and take it all the way down until you get to the corner which is right here just like that and this entire row will eventually turn into stairs pretty soon but so you go ahead and take this all the way across just like this and then do the same thing that we did there you know just put the upside down stairs one after another and then there we go we have half of it done and then we'll take it back down again just like this until you also get to this corner and so there we go all right and then that's where the arch for this window comes in now now that we have that obviously since there's a stair here you'll go ahead and just take this row out and then fill that in with stairs just like this excuse me sorry I'm not my like throat is really dry but um anyways so then you have that obviously after do you uh, after you get rid of that row and fill it in with stairs you have this just to fill in and basically from here on out for uh, this like the big a frame part you just fill it in like connect all the way across so don't worry about this right here just connect these all the way across just next to each other like that and then the next step will be to you know build this arch and then link them in with this A-frame. And I'll be right back when I have that finished. All right, guys. So I filled it in just like this, and like the other side, how we got rid of that top row. You get rid of the top row on this one here, and then so 
you also get rid of, be, there should be two blocks just like this. You just get rid of both of those because you will connect the stairs just like that. But anyways, so now to uh, connect this with that, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take this up right here, just like that. And then once we come to here, you will get rid of that stair. And then when you do that, it should connect just like that. And then you do the same thing right here. Oh, it already connected, cool. All right, so now for this one, you put a stair right there and then go sideways just like that. And that is basically how you connect it. It's actually fairly easy. It just looks like, like it's complicated, you know, from the um, like before and after, I guess. I don't know, I'm stupid. All right, so now for this arch, what we're gonna do is how there's, uh, see how there's like one block from the window to the stair? Well, this stair, you're gonna go ahead and get rid of it turn it sideways just like this and yeah I know that looks weird but you're gonna delete this one and kind of face right in the corner right there and then bam it'll connect just like that so now we'll go ahead and do that on this side but we don't have to worry about that weird corner thing so then like the other arches we'll go ahead and put upside down stairs and then connect them just like this oh not like that like this there we go and then just like we did right there we'll you know fill this in put a corner one and then We'll put a stair right here, delete that one. Oh, okay. Put it right there until it connects and then do the same thing right there and it should connect just like that. And then there you go. You can go ahead and put some oak planks right here to fill in that little gap. And that's it. That's how you do the roof. So, you know, we've got the, uh, don't worry. I, I, yeah, I saw that gap too. Don't worry, I have a little bit of OCD. You can fill that one in too. All right, so here's a little fly around. We've got the roof finished. And there should be a gap yes there is okay so fill that in and there we go so that's what the roof will look like once you're done so now i'm not going to furnish the inside of this one because obviously you guys already saw the uh inside of that one you can either copy that or do your own so to save time i'm not going to furnish it but now we can go ahead and fill in the doors and do some exterior work so i'm going to go ahead and do that and come back when i'm done all right guys i'm back and as you can see i've got some uh exterior work done so uh, obviously I filled in the doors and um, this is just my personal opinion, but whenever you put in the doors, come inside and then place them like that. So that way they're, uh, oh, not that. Okay, I'm, all right. So that way they're like, you know, indented into the wall here. I think it looks good, but it doesn't matter, like I said. But so anyways, and then you got this, uh, these little like support pillar kind of things. It's just like two fence and then a cobblestone wall. And then over here, it's you know three fence and a cobblestone wall on either side of the window and then so the next step is the chimney but this wall is blank and you know there's that also you get your spruce leaves or any kind of leaves and underneath the uh, stair blocks just fill it in all the way around um, it's just nice you know adds like a depth effect I, I really like it and so uh, now for the oh yeah there's a little thing here it's just two grass and then two uh, trap doors and then I put some bone meal on there so now for the uh, chimney you can go ahead and find the center um, or not you know it doesn't have to be the center I'm pretty sure it's about uh, I think yeah it's about mm, no it's about right here that I mean they're well the quote-unquote center it's you know it's nine blocks long so it's uneven it's just like the center for the chimney is about right here so um, you go ahead and it sh should be like one two three blocks from this side and one, two, three, one, two, three, four blocks from that side. Yeah, simple math. But um, so you get your uh, bricks and your brick stairs, and you go ahead and put one, two, and then just take it down to wherever the ground is. That looks kind of weird because that means the f like fireplace would be down there. But um, yeah, you you guys get the gist of it. You know, like there'd be the floor here, and it would go there. Yeah. So you just break these, and then take it up about one, two. And then on this one right here, you'll get your brick stairs. And it's kind of weird. You just, you know, make like some kind of thing. And then put an upside down one. Oh my gosh. Okay. Upside down one. And then kind of do the same thing here just to make a weird little support thing. And then another upside down one. And there you go. You have your chimney done. But not only that, you have the entire house done. So now all I'll be left to do is, you know, obviously go inside and furnish it put some torches or whatever fill this in just like that and once you've got that filled in you're all set this is the inside all right don't forget to put two upside down stairs just like that unless you want it open 
and you like seeing the logs I like doing this that way it's even with the wall but anyways with all that done this is what you should end up with and that is the end of the uh, um, I, would, I would say this is a uh, hmm, this is like a yes yeah, tutorial basically but anyways so that's the end of you know building this house hope you guys enjoyed it um, I really like this house I hope you guys really like it too uh, well uh, I'm gonna go ahead and now that I have all this out of the way I'm gonna go ahead and give like a quick little message um, so I know that you know my upload schedule is usually twice a week now or at least once a week you know and um, I'm, I'm on that I'm on that right now like I haven't shy away from that yet well not yet but you know what I mean I'm running off not very much sleep right now so but um, it's during the school year and the school year is really unpredictable um, sometimes you know I'll get a crap ton of work and then I won't be able to uh, you know upload on it like if I needed to upload the next day and then I get a crap ton of work and I have projects and stuff it you know obviously I can't do that or if like something happens you know life life can turn at a moment's notice so um, at any time throughout the school year or like any time just in general where I might you know not be on schedule um, I apologize in advance um, I'm not gonna shy away from my upload schedule unless there's a reason for it I don't believe in making you know fake excuses for things that's called procrastination and being lazy but um so like I was saying um, I, I'm still on that schedule right now I'm doing good with uploads but um I just want to go ahead and tell you guys that so that way if uh, you know if I don't upload or something you guys know that it's either you know I have a lot of score to do and I need to study or something's going on where you know either whether it's financial it, it doesn't matter you know something will be going on whether it's school or something serious that you know will refrain me from being able to upload but anyways with that being said um, if I can't upload I will you know usually post something on my Twitter so that way you know you guys will know but uh, if you don't follow my Twitter, there's a um, a uh, a little link on my on my channel art on my uh, channel. That wow, that's tough. That's your channel on my channel. Yeah. Well, you can't really see it if you're on your phone. If you're on a computer though, if you go on my channel up in the corner, like bottom right corner, of my channel art, there should be a little Twitter link. Uh, if you click on that, it takes you to my Twitter page, and um, yeah. So I not only do I you know post on my Twitter. If I'm not gonna be able to upload, I kind of post on my Twitter daily. Just like if I'm doing something interesting, I'll post on my Twitter. But yeah, so you guys can like keep track and like check out what I'm doing anytime if you follow my Twitter. But so, anyways, the you know big picture of it is um, follow my Twitter so that way um, I can keep you guys updated. So if for some reason I don't upload or um, you guys just you know are interested in you know the life of genetics which is not super interesting because you know, I'm 16, I'm pretty boring, but um, then yeah, you can go ahead and follow my Twitter, like I said, there's a link, but anyways, with all that news and stuff out of the way, once again, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, I'm Genetics, and I will see you guys in the next one.